Number one, look in the sail rack. Because, why is my forehead red? Because you Tips by me, aka tips by T. Welcome back to my channel. I know my last video I said I haven't filmed in so long. And then I said I was back, but I wasn't back because then I got busy and I went traveling to Europe. But I'm gonna try to be back now. I might be looking that way a lot. That's because my friend Nikita's here. She doesn't want to be in the video, but she's here. <laughs> I don't have any eye makeup on because I had eye surgery on Monday. Ugh. Just so you know, I hate anything to do with surgery, needles. Okay, anyway, so yeah, with my eye, they had to go in and like he made like incisions or like literally he went in with a needle, almost fainted. The lady had to like feed me water through a straw, like laying down. I don't even know how you can picture that, but just picture that. So yeah, that sums up why I don't have eye makeup. Can't wear eye makeup for a week. And I tried like freckles on my face, so that's why there's all these dots on my face. I'm kind of digging the look. I don't know. I'll probably see when I'm editing the video. I got sidetracked. It. This is why I can't make videos. <sighs> I'm getting heat stroke in this fur shirt. Or in like sweater. I don't even know what it's called. But I got it for like eight bucks. Just FYI. After all my rambling, I'm getting straight to the point. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I buy clothes for under $20. And 80% of my clothes in my closet, I purchased under 15 Besides like jackets or staple pieces or like stuff I actually wanted to splurge on and thought it was worth it But for the most part most of my clothes is under $15 I'll buy a bunch of things like maybe 20 under 15, but like it always has to be under 15 So like I'll find a top for six dollars and it's like the cutest top ever my fall jacket Which I can show you I got it for five dollars and you're gonna love it because I fuck with these long fall jackets I got this one for five bucks. There are items that I do spend money on, like leather jackets, Zara jackets, um, winter jacket, some sweaters, some like work clothes for work because like they're more costly because I want quality. But most of my tops that I wear, I spend under fifteen dollars, especially like when I go clubbing or something or going out and I want to get a dress. And that's because every single time I go out, that dress either gets drinks spilled on it, gets ruined, something happens, and I don't wear it again. Or if I have a photo in it, to be honest, I don't wear it again. So I'd rather spend less money so I can give it away after I wear it. Or if something happens to it, I'm not freaking out over it. So when you're looking for clothes under fifteen dollars, what you want to do is one look through the sale racks. I know some people don't like looking through sale racks because it's like, oh, it's like ugly clothes. It doesn't work. But sale racks can be your best friend and like the only rack you need to go to. Most of the time, um, stores are bringing in new products, so they have to mark down stuff they already have. And it's still in season, so you can find a lot of nice pieces for cheap. And one thing you should know about retail is they tend to bring staple pieces back next year. Staple pieces and items that they sell a lot in tend to come back every single year. So I have a bunch of sweaters that I purchased for like $3 because there's times where Forever 21 has these deals where it's like extra 75% off on the sale prices. So an item that's $20 and then you just do the 75 percentage off of it and it's like down to like five eight seven dollars like you can find really good deals if you're looking for them it just depends when the sale is going on then you can get those deals so that jacket that i just tried on for you guys right now it's probably in forever 21 but at full price for 45 dollars roughly if i find it i'll link it below for you guys to see but i'm telling you i actually bought it for five dollars got one for my cousin got one for my mom I got one too. And Kita got one too. <laughs> so like you can really find really good deals when you're looking for them. The sale rack can be your best friend if you actually go towards it. What you want to do is go through every single section because that area will most likely be messy, overwhelming, and not really catered to. So you want to skim through. Don't be very specific in what you want to purchase. That's not how you're going to find things. You have to like skim through and see what like colors you want, what works. Like if you're looking for a sweater, go through the sweaters and see if one stands out for you. And then try it on because you don't want to purchase something because they tend to be final sales. So always try something on. So just skim through every single rack. And I do it fast. Like I don't 
put too much time thinking about it and if it looks nice I just take it and try it on because at the fitting room I can decide if it looks cute or not in most cases like the sale rack you can find really really cheap stuff Forever 21 has a lot of good sales H&M it's more on the expensive side so you'll be spending 15 to 30 40 dollars depending on what you grab and then Zara when they have those big end season sales okay rude when they have those big end season sales where it's like this rack is $9.99 this rack is $12.99 $19.99 and so forth so it depends on what you're looking for and if you get a head start then you can get the good items before they get sold out let's see if you can't find anything you can check online Zara has lots of good sales online and when you do purchase it you have 30 days to take it back into store that works out so if it doesn't fit on you then you can try it uh, and return it um, another option you can do is online shopping the only risk about this is you can't try on the clothes and usually shipping it back costs 10 times more than when it comes to you what you want to look out for is one put your name and email towards every single like subscribe list on the stores you like so there's like misguided pretty little things fashion nova forever 21 zara whichever stores you tend to shop at they give you emails when they have sales so you can look out for those you don't need to shop all the time go for the times where there's sales going on where you can get good deals and most of the time like the outfits that you will find are super nice Fashion Nova always has sales going on when you see those emails coming in you can go look for the items you want for those discounted prices and that way you get a better price on the items you want instead of paying full price another thing that you can do is googling promo codes for specific stores when you google promo codes there's usually sites that have like oh um like icy icy 21 for like 15 percent off from this store or 10 percent or five dollars or ten dollars they're not that good promo codes unless you actually have like an influencer that tosses you one and it's pretty decent but most cases it's like 10 percent 15 percent and that's not that much so my favorite thing to do is honestly go to stores where you can try it on and look at the sale rack before you go towards the full price. Another option, like let's say you're looking for something specific, um, let's say a white sweater. Google white sweater and then write like female top, uh, female sweaters, whites, um, white female sweaters. And then see all the stores and then compare the price ranges. So if you go to Misguided and see the sweaters, it's like $30. And then you go to like Pretty Little Thing, it's like $60. And then you go to Zara and they have one for $15. So you have to like compare the prices because there's more than one option where you can go. Even in stores, don't always commit to something full price. Look at other stores, see if there's deals. Go to, towards the deals first before coming back to the full price items. When you want to purchase jackets, a good time to buy them, it's like end of the season. So I think in April, I would say. I usually get all my like good cheap stuff from Forever 21 because they have a lot of sales. When it's like extra 50% off, I go off. I'll buy like $300 worth of clothes, but everything has to be under my $15 limit. So especially with jackets, I think I bought two like faux leather jackets for under it seven dollars like dusters I got a couple dusters for under that price too you just have to go end of season because they're trying to get rid of those clothes but you can stock up like I said for next season so like the next year you have all these clothes because those are clothes that they bring back every single year you don't want to get like some like trend top you want to get staple pieces that you can wear all the time and they never go out of style that's the kind of stuff I go for like a fur top it's pretty cute it works for the fall looks cozy you know so that's pretty much it it's like a short recap of like how I purchase things under $15 honestly like sale racks are your best friend and if you need to splurge on something that you really want really question it like can you wait for it do you need it right now you can definitely like find it from a different store for a different price so always keep your eyes open and be open-minded to the sale rack because you could definitely find cute items there for a cheap price so that's pretty much it I mean I feel like there's more I can go on to but it's just like rambling and if you guys ever have any questions on how to find it or like a specific questions on how to find stuff under $15 leave it in the comments below and then I'll try to answer it maybe help you out um, you can hit me up on Instagram Tara 4 hearts and I can answer your questions there 
But that's pretty much it. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for my next video sometime next week. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you on my next video.